Hello guys, today I am going to show you how to connect Spring application with Neo4j graph database using Spring JDBC. So first step is to set up the project. So for that I am going to use a Spring Initializer. So let's go to Spring Initializer. Or it is available at start.spring.io. So here for the group I am going to use com.example.spring and artifact name neo4j dependencies I am going to use web and jdbc okay once it is added click generate project it will be downloaded and then we need to import it in either Eclipse IDE or IntelliJ IDE. I am going to uh, use IntelliJ. So first I, I need to extract this zip file. And then let open IntelliJ. So our project is importing, imported. So our project is imported. So next, once the project is imported, uh, the second step is uh, we need to add one more dependency. So we need to add Neo4j JDBC driver de uh, dependency. So copy this lines and we need to add it in pom.xml inside the dependencies tag so after that save the file and import the changes and then we need to uh, configure our application to connect to the neo4j da database so for that we need to add these four lines copy it and then we need to add it under main resources application dot properties so my uh, neo4j server database server is running at 7474 port so mention that and then username is user password is password I have set uh, username as user and password as password so you can use whatever username and password you have set and save it so uh, for the dem demonstration I am going to create four APIs so first one is to add a family member and second to add a partner relationship between father and mother and then api to add a parent relationship between parents and son and for to find all the children of a particular parent or uh, of a father or of a mother so let's start with creating apis okay so first i will create one controller class So I will name it family controller and I will add an annotation controller and then I will create a method public so I am going to return a response entity add member so first let's create a cipher query to add family member
so we are going to create a person a, a node with a label person and with a properties name with gene and then gender female and then close brackets so this is the cipher query to add a uh, create a, a node with a label person and with a properties jane and gender as female but uh, we want to send this name and gender in the request so i will uh, use the positional parameters so let's write question mark instead of the value okay next next we need to execute this query so for that i'm going to use jdbc template so i'm going to use the interface jdbc operations so jdbc operations dot update family member and then new object array so uh, we need to fetch these two parameters values from the request so for that let's set up the url url mapping so at rate request mapping value equal to so it will be api slash v1 slash member and then method is going to be uh, put request okay so and then let's create one map string object request import this okay so here string name equal to request dot get so name dot name and then string gender equal to request dot get okay uh, we got the name and gender 